This is Module 5, Lesson 16, Homework, Side 1. Today's objective was to place whole number fractions and fractions between whole numbers on a number line. Number 1. Estimate to equally partition and label the fractions on the number line. Label the holes as fractions and box them. The first one is done for you. So on letter A, they had to partition each section of the number line into thirds. One is labeled as three thirds. Two is labeled as six thirds. And three is labeled as nine thirds. Those are the whole numbers, so we put boxes around them. When I look at B, I need to partition into eighths. I notice that my number line is starting at two and three. <coughs> so to begin, I'm going to partition into eighths. I'm going to start by partitioning in half. Then I will partition my halves in half, creating fourths. And last, I will partition my, my fourths in half, which gives me eighths. Since my fraction is marked as eighths, my denominator must be eight. Two is the number where I'm starting. So I will multiply two times eight to get the numerator, which is 16. I have 16 eighths. Then I will continue to count up. 17 eighths, 18 eighths, 19 eighths, 20 eighths, 21 eighths, 22 eighths, 23 eighths, and 24 eighths. There is a box around 24 eighths because it is a whole number. Letter C, I need to partition my number line into fourths. So between two and three, I need to partition into fourths. I will divide it in half and then partition my halves in half. I will do the same thing between three and four. Then I will start writing fractions above the two with the denominator of four. Just like I did in letter B, I will multiply two times four to get the numerator. So two times four is eight, meaning my first whole number can be written as a fraction of eight fourths. Then I continue counting. Nine fourths, 10 fourths, 11 fourths, 12 fourths, 13 fourths, 14 fourths, 15 fourths, and 16 fourths. Going back, I need to put the box around 12 fourths because it represents a whole number. I also need to put a box around 16 fourths because it represents a whole number. Letter D, I notice I have a number line between 3 and 5. When I'm counting up, 4 comes between those numbers, so I need to mark 4 on my number line. Then I need to partition each portion of my number line in half. So I'm going to mark between 3 and 4 in half, and between 4 and 5 in half. Coming back to 3, I need to write it as a fraction, as a half. So I will multiply three times two, which is six. I will put a box around that because that represents a whole number, three. Continuing to count, I should have seven halves, eight halves, nine halves, and ten halves. I should put a box around eight halves because it represents the whole number four. And I should put a box around 10 halves because it represents the whole number five. On letter E, you have a number line with six and nine. 
you need to make sure that you label the numbers between 6 and 9 first. Then partition each portion of your number line into fifths. Label the fractions for each portion and put boxes around the whole number fractions.